stays underground, and Lamb will be none the wiser. Hey, come on. I'm back. I've unlocked the train for you. Uh, but remember, if Lamb catches you, <laughs> mum's the word. Delta, our conflict of interest seems to be upsetting Eleanor. For her sake, I have made it clear to these men. Through Adam, Eleanor will become the daughter of the people. A true utopian. Brilliant beyond measure, but utterly selfless. As she ascends, Delta, you and I will seem as dogs, circling and snarling amid the afterbirth. Doc Lamb's turning up the heat, Chief. 
Head on back to the train station. Let's hit the trail. Subject Delta. I have known for years of Stanley's betrayal here and had forgiven him. But in compromising Eleanor now, he seals his fate. You see, it was Stanley who turned you into Ryan. He is responsible for what you have become. The security booth is open now. You may have your revenge. Sweet Jesus. Lamb, no! And she just let me hang myself out the... Oh, God! No, no, no. Come on, pal. The, the, the train's ready. Just... Just let me live! You always heard the one you love, the one you shouldn't hurt. This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mamas use an atom to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son. to be Gil Alexander, same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. Initiating bioscan. 
Identifying clearance level. I, I identified clinical trial subject. Cla -cla classification. Protector. Designation. Designation. Delta. Status. Dis -dis deceased. Error. Updated status. Please -le -le stand by. Hello again. I... I have been exposed to a massive dose of Substance Adam. By the time you hear this, I will have armed this facility's defenses en masse. You, my friend, must therefore penetrate them and kill me. Please believe that... If Dismissal. Shall I simplify that for you? Fired! Fired! Fired!
Each new tyrant ventured here in search of conquest, Delta. Fontaine, Ryan, and now you. But every aspiring Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Ask yourself, what does Sinclair stand to gain in guiding you here? I designed that device, Delta. You fumble at it like an amorous baboon! You've won a battle of wits with a home appliance!
Adam Delta. One little jab in the arm and even a hopeless underperformer can be employee of the month. Or you should know. Look around. Is any of this familiar? The Rapture consumer is indebted to you, my boy. We ironed kink after kink out of our domestic plasmid line on you right here. Well, let's see if you're staying competitive. Step on up and take the spotlight. Where is your initiative, Delta? Why, in the old days, your antics never... F failed to amuse. Admittedly, this audience is la- <laughs> ...joie de vie, but see if you can't liven them up. Ladies and gentlemen, Fontaine Futuristics invites you to shed your skepticism, evolve your expectations, and dissolve your doubt as we unveil the revolutionary power of our home defense plasmid series. May I have a volunteer from the audience? Come now, don't be shy. How about you, sir? No, he's positively rigid. You, Mark, at the back. Oh, come on down. Let's give it a hand, folks. Only a single volunteer? Oh, come now, gentlemen. She'll be awfully nervous up here all alone. Upstaged a fellow demonstrator, and he's here to steal the show. What will Delta do now, folks? Still a winner, Delta. The tour was never the same without you. And to think you were so spliced you couldn't stand when we stuffed you into that get-up. The Fontaine family retirement plan suits you to a T, my boy.
I must assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. Ah, now, uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access to the real laboratories where, where what's left of me awaits you. Please, use it. As I recall from my time doing business with the owners, that oxyfill station out there is just a front for a kind of hidden passage leading down below. If Lamb's hiding Eleanor from you, that's where she'll be. Sophia and I knew that to create the first true utopian would come at a high cost, my friend. We needed someone to be host to all that Adam, Rapture's finest minds. A willing subject, that is to say, myself. Whatever you may have seen inside the tank, that was indeed me. I fear the fate of Eleanor Lamb will be less physical, but no less grotesque. This tank for deep sea life is the ideal way to dispose of me. But first, you must retrieve enough adam-infused plant life to lure me out. The slugs feed on the stuff, and it's all I seem to want now. I have left a sample here, so you know what to look for. Genetically encoded. And to get to Eleanor, you're gonna need one from Alex the Great in there. First things first, we gotta pin him down, find those plants he mentioned, and lure him back out.
Have you running around the laboratories in your condition? Marching around, playing daddy, until some splicer manages to kill off their sister. And then, if the coma doesn't take them, they turn maniac. Nothing left to do but scream. Uh, no offense intended, son. We better get you to Eleanor, on the double. Your body begins to tear itself apart. The compulsion to find Eleanor will drive you to madness or coma. You have no claim on her. Your design was among Rapture's greatest sins. And yet, you persist. Why?
to be an heir to my life's work. And this is where they changed her, bonding her to you. The child she was died. 